All right, we're joined by head coach Shaheen Holloway. Open the floor for questions, please. Uh, coach, today's game really felt very similar to the first game against Fairfield from last weekend. Who is this talking? Is oh, this is Joe. Joe, okay, Joe. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. Um, I was going to say, it, the game felt a lot like the first Fairfield game from last weekend. What was it that helped you guys close this one out today? You know what? It, it, it was a hard-fought game. You know, you know, John Dunn do a great job with his, his team and getting them to play hard. Um, I thought it was a hard-fought battle. I thought both teams battled. Um, I thought we made some plays down the stretch um, that, that, that we didn't make last week. I guess Fairfield, the first game, to help us win. I thought Dow Banks, Defense was unbelievable. I thought he set the tone, you know, diving on the floor for loose balls, getting all the 50 50 balls. And that was the difference. You know, those were the things that we didn't do in the first game last week against Fairfield. Here we go. Coach, your, your defense has been stellar. You know, good win tonight. Anytime you can get these kind of wins and late in the conference season, um, it's always a benefit to you. Talk a little bit about um, the layoffs. Do you think the week in between layoffs hurts your offensive rhythm? Because you guys seem to have times have um, issues really trying to find an offensive rhythm. <laughs> you think? <laughs> um, yeah, coach. I don't know. You know, it's this week was this week was a week like no other. I mean, this year has been a year like no other. You know, we are uh, we we played for, uh, Saturday Sunday. Um, uh, I mean, we were so tired and so banged up. I gave the guys Monday and Tuesday off. So we practiced Wednesday and then yesterday with the snowstorm, you know, we, we tried to get a practice in early in the morning and it was a debacle. So we, we came back and we practiced today at one o'clock. I did a full practice today for the first time in my life. I did a full practice at one o'clock the day of the game because we just couldn't get nothing in yesterday. And I had to make sure our guys understood, you know, uh, marriage and their sets and what they was running and stuff like that. Um, I thought the guys came out, I thought they, they, they respond to it. But you're right, man, we are, uh, we're struggling right now offensively. I mean, we're really struggling. I mean, I mean, you know, three, three for twenty for three, which we shooting way too many threes. Um, but like, like, like I told you guys a long time ago, you know, we're a defensive team, and that's why we're in games because of our defense. On the, uh, on the bright side of it, coach, free throw shooting tonight was tremendous, and I, that definitely was a difference in the ball game. Was it more of an emphasis put on that because you were 20 for 25 from the foul line, which was a difference in the ball game? Well, you know what? We, you know, we've been shooting free throws. I got to be honest with you, Coach. We've been shooting free throws probably more than any team in America because we're not shooting the ball well. And I want to get to the free throw line. So we shoot a lot of free throws. We shot a lot of free throws today. Um, you know, it just, it's a mental thing. You know, these guys go, go up there and just understand, like, when you, when you got two shots, even if you miss the first one, like, you got to focus and make the second one. And that's why I would try to get Casey to understand, you know, because he get up there and he missed his first one, then he's, his head get all crazy. And then, then, you know, he missed the second one. Tonight was opposite. You know, he really cashed in on the second one. Um, I was proud of him. He, he went 11 for 14 from the free throw line. He was, he was aggressive. Um, but I'm just so proud of, you know, I'm, I ride Dow Banks a lot. I'm just so proud of him, just the way he battled tonight. I mean, if you watch him, man, I mean, he made three big time plays where, Stills and down on the floor for, for the ball, and that was the difference in the game, period. What's been hit, the area where he's, you know, progressed the most in, in kind of developing that and, and kind of leading to the performance that we saw tonight? You know what? I don't know, you know, because he got he got so much more to give. You know, Daryl, man, I, I'm on him because he's a very talented kid. You know, he, I got to give him believing in himself that he could get to the – I call the Baja, which – you know, old school, that means to, to the basket. You know, he, he, he's so too much for a jump shot or to pull up jump shot. He's so athletic. He got to understand. He got, he got to get to the rim and finish or get fouled. That's the next progression in his game. He got to understand, like, those are, like, people are taking away just your shot now. Now you got to make a play. And just got to, at least last one for me, Obviously, emotions were very high on the court tonight. A couple of technical fouls given out. How do you make sure that that doesn't spill over in a negative way to tomorrow and then that, that kind of gets channeled in the right direction? It's part of the game, man. You know, you got two competitive teams. You got two competitive coaches. I got a lot of respect for Coach Dunn. You know, um, you know, I, I, 
you know, I think he does an unbelievable job with his team. You know, and like, like I said, this is part of basketball, man. You know, you got two teams out there fighting. You know, it's the end of the year. Everything matters right right, right now. But it's, it's going to be emotions. You know, um, as long as it don't get carried away, as long as it, it stays in a, a peaceful thing, I'm I'm good with it. You know, but the one thing I don't like, I don't I don't talk to kids, you know, other other team players. You know, I don't like, you know, players, you know, telling coaches, you know, things that the kids say. That, it's, it's, there's no place for that. Um, I'm going to have a talk with John before the game tomorrow because, like I said, this is good competitive basketball. Man. And emotions going to be high, but we got to keep it at a limit. Well, Coach, good win tonight. Get home, get some rest. See you guys tomorrow. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shaw.